day YouTube modeling community um, just a, a quick update or a review of a kit I just pur purchased a uh, an easy eight Sherman tank because even though I don't build military models anymore because I got burnt out on them in the military um, I went to see that movie uh, Fury and it was it was a good movie and I have this idea in my head to the Fury build tank. and so I special ordered this Tamiya kit sure of tank. an Easy so 8 I'll show it to you and sometime uh, in the near future I hope I'll get around to getting start on, started on it if not it'll be on the shelf for another couple so of years that, I'll show you this kit that I got okay so, bear with so here it is it's a US medium tank M4A 3E8 Sherman Easy 8 tank this is the the Fury tank, and this is this is pretty cool because it comes with four figures, which these tanks had a crew of five, and it doesn't have crew members. It has ground troop figures, you know, go figure. You know, it'd be cool if they would have had, you know, actual tank figures to go with it. But they also sell separately the tank figures. Go figure. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> but it, it's a pretty cool kit. Lots of nice detail. You know, uh, comes with some photo etch parts. You know, I, from looking at this, I think those photo etch parts are supposed to end up representing the light guards, the guards, the metal guards that go around the the lights and stuff. So anyway, that's the box. I'll open this and hopefully everything doesn't come falling out on me like that. You know, here's the directions. You know, they have. Um, in different languages, of course, they have a pretty good spiel on the history Pictures of the different tank. armored divisions and what the decals look. So this is probably for your decal placement. And then it has really nice drawings and really good directions on how to put this together. You know, and the thing with this kit is, like most of your military kits, everything is so small that you know and so detailed that you know you have to be careful putting it together and taking things off the sprues or you know you want to break you know i think this will be a fun kit um on the fence as to how i want to build the kit you know i don't know if i want to build it in its final scene where the track is blown out and it can't move and the german army is advancing and they're doing their last stand you know and the tanks all beat up and burn up I thought about doing that, but then I also thought about doing it where it is, you know, in transit or moving and, and all that. There's a few things that I need to find that so far I haven't had any luck at, and believe it or not, trying to find a German figure in 135th scale with a gas mask that is out of its case. All I need is a gas mask out of its case, and that would be cool, but haven't been able to find one. Here it has all these little guys, these dudes, and, you know, it, it, they represent infantrymen because tankers don't wear all this loose stuff, you know, but, you know, LBE and all that. LBE tends to, you know, get in the way crawling in and out of a tank. So I'll probably have to find me a tank crew somewhere to go buy that and, you know, but you can see all the little parts, you know, the shovel and, you know, the hatches open up and everything. It's pretty cool. You know, I could be here for an hour going through all the different pieces, you what know. What this kit could really stand for is some photo etch pieces. You know, I'll try to order some where the uh, engine hatches instead of having this solid plastic, you know, get the photo etch to where you can actually see in there. That'd be cool. Okay, and then more of the tank parts, the front end, more of the uh, compartment covers, the the gun tube. Now the thing about the the tube, the, the, the gun, and that kind of bums me out as I look at it now, I thought it was, you know, it, it, it's in four pieces. So you got to take the four pieces and they're cut in half and you got to put them together and then put them end for end. And you know, that's a lot of work trying to hide the seams and all that. Um, I want to see what I can do to find somewhere in aftermarket a uh, gun tube that's one solid piece, you know, that's metal or something. Um, I couldn't make one because, you know, the barrel's tapered from one end to the other, so. But 
more than likely I'll have to do a lot of work to try to make that barrel look convincing without all those mold lines. And then here you have the periscope. Uh, it's just one big long piece um, that goes underneath. I guess you got two options. This is, okay, I see what it is. You got an all clear periscope that you can paint and leave the, you know, the turn or whatever, the man way, whatever you want to call it, paint it up and then leave the periscope lenses for you or you can not mess with it at all and just have it solid with uh you know and then here they have this is cool they actually got the little periscopes and i remember in the military in the 113s that's exactly how they look anyway except that you know here's the uh drive sprockets and and, and all that you know the, the drive itself you know here's that cool turret you know and what I like is it's already textured. It's not smooth. It's textured to represent the roughness of what those tanks were. They weren't smooth. They were pretty, pretty rough because they were cast. You know, they they had a mold and they poured molten steel into the mold and cast the turrets in, in a lot of the parts. They weren't machined, obviously. And then more of the suspension components and everything. Um, a lot of detail in this. We have a lot of fun. This pack is all track, so look at that. You can spend a day just putting the track together and painting it. Because if you want it to look all realistic, you don't want it just all black. You know, you gotta weather it, make it rusty looking, and you know. So that's that. And here is, you know, the sides of the tank, the side panels. That's the bottom and this is probably part of the bottom front the bottom rear so that's what that is and, and here we have um, the photo etch which I do believe I was right by saying that it's what um, it's it's for the lights not the photo etch stuff I can't even get the decals out there we go well photo etch came out too it's in its own separate little thing the decals which I can't remember if the Fury tank had stars on it or not, but they got enough of the different stars to represent the different units, you know. Um, this will be a fun kit, and it'll be neat to make the Fury tank. I don't know what would be easier for me, you know, to build it um, where it is uh, pretty much wrecked, and at the end of its, uh, at the end of all things, as you could say if you're a Hobbit fan. And uh, or build it when it was still moving and in action, but I do plan on buying a lot of aftermarket stuff and maybe not a lot, but buying some aftermarket pieces to make things stand out and also scratch building a, a lot of things to go throw on top of it. You know, uh, go outside and get me a few sticks to put the uh, put stuff on it. But, that's it, and, and I don't want to keep this video long because, you know, my audio will mess up and it's probably already too long. So, with that, that's the Tamiya kit of the M4A3E8 Sherman EZ8. You know, and again, it has uh, an infantry figures with it, you know, and no tank crew. Isn't that funny? But anyway... So that's that's that and you guys have a wonderful wonderful Christmas.